Hey there everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor at Gray Manor and today I'm smoking this Series 3 9mm. You guys have seen this a lot in my most recent videos. It's a Shape 129 hefty billiard bowl but kind of a small medium sized pipe. So today's video, and I'm sure many videos in the YTPC these days, has kind of been inspired by matches. While I've been, you know, just pondering his loss over the past few months, I can't believe it's been as long as it already has. But, uh, you know, I've been smoking, uh, I smoked my share of Haunted Bookshop, and then was thinking about his other favorite blends, and that got me into thinking, well, what were some... What might be some replacement blends for that, for those, uh, for people who maybe aren't ready for Haunted Bookshop uh, or Old Joe Krantz or what have you? I do have some notes here because there's plenty to go through on this video. But, uh, so I'll be referring to this here and there. So yeah, if you're not ready to start freight training Haunted Bookshop, but, um, you know, you're looking for kind of an all-day meat and potatoes kind of blend, there are some good lighter alternatives um, to what I would refer to as John's Big Three, um, and that would be Haunted Bookshop. These are the Big Three, Haunted Bookshop. Old Joe Krantz and Big and Burly. Um, and as you can see, Haunted Bookshop kind of got a facelift not too long back, but you know, mostly uh, a lot of these tobaccos I'll be sharing today are kind of from the brown label. It's not really a series, but what I would call Cornell and Deal's brown label series. These are all going to be Cornell and Deal blends. But what we're looking for is lighter alternatives to these three. Um, meat and potato kind of blends, kind of plain Jane blends, um, or what I would call oatmeal blends. Uh, oatmeal is good, but I don't think anybody would say, you know what, oatmeal is my favorite food in the world. Uh, you know, I could just eat it all day long. Well, what I would consider an oatmeal blend would be something that maybe you could smoke all day long, but, you know, it's not necessarily going to be your favorite. Uh, it could be, but, you know, just more along the lines of a lighter everyday smoke. So maybe a step up from, let's say, the Codger blends or the, the OTC blends, drugstore blends. Something along the lines of Carter Hall, but maybe better quality leaf. A little more care taken in the uh, production. So, um, most of these are burley based blends. There are a couple of exceptions, I think. But for the most part, we're looking at burley based blends. So let's take a look at the big three. Um, Old Joe Krantz is Burley Perique in Virginia. Haunted Bookshop is Burley Perique in Virginia. Now the differences between those two blends have been pretty argued um, or debated. My personal uh, favorite out of the two is Old Joe Krantz because there's definitely more Perique in it. Um, and I think maybe a little bit more Virginia. I think what they did was bring up the Perique in Virginia and bring down the Burley a little bit. But Old Joe Krantz and Haunted Bookshop apparently have the same three component pieces. But I definitely personally like the Old Joe Krantz the best. Not taking anything away from Haunted Bookshop though. Uh, Haunted Bookshop Took me a while to come around to, but I finally did. 
Old Joe Krantz for me as a Perique lover was just right out of the gate, really nice. And then big and burly is burly Latakia Orientals in Perique. But I'm going to say mostly burly. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of Latakia in there. Or I think Orientals or Perique. I think everything aside, you know, those three other uh, leaves aside from burly are really used condimentally, very lightly. Big and burly is quite the burly blend. Otherwise, I think it would have a different name. But yeah, I wouldn't call any of these blends that I'm talking about in this video my personal favorites. My favorites tend to have a standout flavoring or profile. Like you guys know, I love Haunted, not Haunted Bookshop. I love uh, Old Dark Fired. That's my personal favorite. That Dark Fired Kentucky Man's got that... Uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to go into all that, but those tend to be my favorite blends. I like the standout kind of flavors. That's not what this list is. This list isn't Old Dark Fired and Shanae's Cake and things like that. But these are ones that I circle back to over and over again. They're intriguing without trying to be rock stars. Um, so an everyday blend to me means a light to medium early based blend typically. Uh, maybe that's unfair, but it's what most of the codger blends are, so maybe there's something to that. Um, I can see how these blends can be considered nondescript at first glance, uh, but over time they can become old friends. Um, they leave you curious, and you might find yourself wanting to dig into them a little bit more and coax out their secrets. So, um, first I wanted to give some honorable mentions to three blends um, that are just a bit too mentional, mentionable. <laughs> so they are honorable mentions. Um, they're a little too descript to be considered nondescript. And that would be these three. Uh, three Friars, Billy Bud, in Morley's best. Um, so these could be stand-ins uh, or maybe considered second string to the big three that matches used to smoke. Um, I don't know that he smoked much three fryers, but I do know he smoked some Billy Bud. And I'm sure he's had I'm sure he had some Morley's best here and there. Um, Billy Bud would probably be out of those three the one that he smoked the most, but let me go to my notes here about these three blends. Um, three Friars is Burley Perique in Virginia, just like Old Joe Krantz and Haunted Bookshop. Um, but the Perique gives it a nice, smooth twist. So it kind of keeps it off of the, the uh, oatmeal blends list. Uh, Billy Bud is Burley Cigar Leaf, Latakia in Virginia. Uh, the Latakia and Cigar Leaf make it stand out just a bit much to be plain Jane. Uh, and then the Morley's Best is Burley Latakia in Virginia. Um, this one was close. I had it on my list um, and I took it off because the Latakia portion makes it a bit too savory to be considered plain or an all-day blend, I would think. Someone could make this their all-day blend. It, it is close to my nondescript or oatmeal list. <clears throat> but let's get into the, the five alternatives that I came up with. Um, so the first one would be Epiphany. Uh, Epiphany is Burley, Latakia, Perique, and Virginia. Um, and you can taste a lot of Kia, but there's not much in there. I know this one's open because I've been smoking through at least five of these I have as open tins. You can just barely coax out the lot of Kia in this blend. I would say it's predominantly burly based. Um, 
There's a good bit of Virginia. I wouldn't think there's a whole lot of Perique in there. Um, but I would say Epiphany would be a pretty good stand-in for Haunted Bookshop. Just on the lighter side of Haunted Bookshop. Uh, second would be Pegasus. And again, you know, these are kind of plain Jane brown label, most of these. But uh, Pegasus is Black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. This is very much an oatmeal blend. Uh, the Black Cavendish kind of surprises me. Um, almost even smells like like raisin oatmeal. I've been really enjoying the Pegasus. Um, just, a, just a nice plain blend. No nonsense, maybe, is what I should call it. A no nonsense tobacco blend. Uh, but Pegasus and Epiphany, uh, to me, are fairly similar. Now, they have differences in their components, but um, I would put them neck and neck for me as far as, you know, go-to Plain Jane blends. Uh, third, here's a little prettier uh, ten art here, the Grey Ghost. Now, I've talked about Grey Ghost in the past a good bit. Um, it has Black Cavendish also and Cigar Leaf and Virginia. So according to everything I've found, there's no uh, Burley in this at all, but I would swear there was Burley in it. Um, this is actually what I'm smoking right now, or what I was smoking. <laughs> Maybe I won't try to light back up. I'll light back up at the end. There's a lot of talk in here. Uh, so the Grey Ghost, uh, the it is plain, a plain, no-nonsense tobacco taste. Um, but there is a bit of a cigar taste with that cigar leaf. It's like smoking a very light cigar, like a mild cigar. Um, I really like it. The Black Cavendish doesn't really give any sweetness to it. Um, so it's very much a no-nonsense oatmeal-style tobacco. Number four is Americana. And I really like this tin art that's kind of destroyed by this warning but uh, still looks pretty just not as pretty as before the warnings came out or started coming out Cornell and Deal still rolling those in uh, to their ten art but anyway Americana is also uh, Black Cavendish Burley Latakia and Virginia's um, so these two could kind of be considered similar blends just like the Pegasus and Epiphany um, they both have Black Cavendish, uh, they both have Virginia, but then the Americana has Burley and a little bit of Latakia, whereas this, the Grey Ghost, doesn't have those two, it has Cigar Leaf. So Cigar Leaf is kind of what, it's not the star of the show here, but it's uh, a big, bigger player here, kind of defines what this is. And then the Americana has just a bit of Latakia. And Burley. I would say this has a good bit of Burley in it. And just a bit of lot of Kia to keep you kind of guessing at it as it burns down. But these two have Virginias um, that play a decent part as well in the blend. So maybe a Burley Virginia. Well, actually, this doesn't have Burley. I keep saying that. These smoke to me very similarly, but Cigar Leaf instead of Burley. Um, and number five would be Briar Fox. Briar Fox is a very no-nonsense Burley uh, Virginia blend. This one is not open. This comes in like a crumble cake. Um, what I say in my notes about Briar Fox, the Virginias tame the Burley and make it just the slightest bit sweet. But mostly this is a nondescript, true tobacco taste. Uh, and probably the smoothest of those five. So, we'll rattle through the list again here. 
we were looking for lighter alternatives to these big three. The Big and Burly, the Old Joe, and the Haunted Bookshop. Honorable mentions go to Three Friars, Billy Bud, and Morley's Best. I don't know how I'm going to fit these five in the shot. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. So these are my uh, five recommendations for all-day, oatmeal-style, nondescript, true tobacco taste blends. Friar Fox, Pegasus, Epiphany, Americana, and Grey Ghost. Um, what are my favorites out of those? Well, I really like Old Joe Krantz from the Big Three. Uh, from the three honorable mentions, um, probably Three Friars. Out of the five, man, I like them all. I really do. I like them all. And it really just depends on my mood. Sometimes I might get to thinking of that cigar leaf and I want that gray ghost like I did this morning. Um, but they're all good, solid blends. So, um, I think we'll leave it at that. Glad y'all got to see me. We'll chat with you later. Later.